So let us begin today's start topic with drawing a perfect circle. So 
So let us come back to your topic which is circles. So as we know there is a circle, there is a center, there is a radius. What let us talk about the interaction? Interaction of lines with a circle. How does a how does a line interact with a circle? Interact means how does it behave with a circle? See the line can be like this. Does not touch. Can be like this. Passes through it, crossing it at two points. Or can be like this. Touches it at only one point. Okay. This is none of our concern. This is called a secant. It will cut it at two points. And if it touches the circle at only one point, then it is called a tangent. This line segment, this tangent, is our concern in your class time. The whole topic of class 10 is revolving around this tangent only. So this is not our concern, this is our concern. This was your concern in class 9, not now. So tangent is your concern, right? So a line segment or a line, infinite line, which touches a circle at only one point is a tangent. That means any other point on this line, if you take, it will lie in the exterior of the circle and none of the points on this line will lie in the interior of the circle but only one point will lie on this circle or will share a common point with this circle so this is a tangent right yes so a tangent is a line which touches a circle at only one point this point you can say it is called as the point of contact and this segment joining the center to the point is the product theta over here. This is called as the radius at the point of contact. There are infinite radii, but this radius, this radius is our focus here. Because at this point there is only one radius. Right? Yes, sir. So together they make a lot of fuss. Let us look at what they make. How is this chapter organized and how we are going to deal with it, how we are going to understand the concepts in this video. So we know now. In a circle, a tangent is a line segment touches it at only one point. Point of contact is the center and this is the, the radius at the point of contact. So your first theorem, theorem 1, tells you that the radius is perpendicular to the tangent at the point of contact means if this is x this angle o p x this angle this angle is 90 degree or this one the radius is always perpendicular to the tangent respective tangent at the point of contact okay here is statement of theorem 10.1 in your book. Chalo. Let's ask you proof case again. You must know how to prove it. It can come as a question. How to prove it? Now, look carefully. If I draw any, if I put any other point P1, P2, P3, P4, infinite points I draw and I join this join the center to these points ok so you see this OP we got OP, OP1, OP2 OP3 everyone is OP here overpowered right so OP1, 2, 3, 4, 5, OPN 
wherever you may construct a point you see all of these points right all of these points only one point lies on the circle that is p got it and every other point since p lies on the circle at one point of contact every other point on the line must lie all these point must lie in the exterior of the circle yes or no yes so if every other point lies in the exterior of the circle you tell me if i join this point to the point on the circle and i join this point to a point outside obviously this line will be the shortest one right do you understand any other point other than p is lying outside the circle wherever i join the center to these all of these points every other point will lie in the outside that means this point p lies on this circle this is the shortest distance between the center and the tangent and you know the shortest distance between a line and a point is the perpendicular distance only yes or no therefore you can say op is perpendicular to the tangent at the point of contact i am not telling you how to write the theorem i am just explaining you you know how to write but this is how you should understand this that since this is the shortest distance it has to be perpendicular to the line you take this diagram elsewhere also it will be also true if this is a line you draw any line here this line this one will be the shortest and hence this must be perpendicular right we draw perpendicular bisector straight line to find the shortest distance right this is just the reverse of that thing is here coming out to be true so we understood i am rubbing this okay we understood that the tangent is perpendicular to the radius and the point of contact okay theorem 1 under the belt gone disappeared vanished understood sure okay so everything you learn here Will be applied. Now we learn anywhere there is a circle and there is a tangent here, there is a tangent here, there is a tangent here, there is a tangent here. Wherever there is a tangent, and they have their respective points of contact, and in their respective points of contact, to their respective radii at the point of contact, they are all. Perpendicular. Okay. No matter wherever you draw, they will always be perpendicular. So there are infinite such pairs of tangents and their perpendicular radii at the point of contact. This is your theorem one. Let us come to the theorem two. Okay. Theorem two tells me that if There is a circle, and there is a point outside P. Before understanding theorem two, let me ask you: from any point outside a tangent circle, from any point outside a circle, right? You will draw tangents from outside. Can you draw a tangent from inside? No, sir. No, no. 
maybe maybe you can can you no no chance so there is no chance to draw a circle from inside because if you draw from inside it will not be called a tangent it will be drawn here you can say it is one point oh sorry this line extends and cuts at the other point so the tangent was a second so it was not tangent so you can't draw a line tangent from inside a circle and if you are drawing from an external point some tangents how many can you draw it is a thing you can draw only two right yes there is no third one here okay tan bigada cam bigada so yahan pe do hi ho sakta hai pa or p b only two tangents are possible this much you put it in your mind Got it. Now the theorem two is saying you that tangents drawn from an external point to a circle, a pair of tangents are always equal in length. That means P A is equal to P B. ये हो गया ही. ये वो बोल रहा है. हमें नहीं पता. हम मानते हैं कि चलो देखते हैं होता ही नहीं. लेटर आज़ू में नहीं है. Now, if I construct the radius, respect radius at the point of contact from the center, I will get a quadrilateral AO, OA, PB. I also join the center to the external point, OP. Now, as per theorem one, this angle must be 90 degree. And this angle must be also 90 degree. Theorem one, I have already studied. I have already studied. I have already studied. So, this 90 or 90, which is, these two theorem one se milte. Agar theorem one se 90 degree or 90 degree, you will know that points of contact are 90 degree. So, look at these two triangles. Triangle OAP and triangle OBP. Okay, ये दोनों triangles हैं. You can say OA is same as OB because radius of the same circle. Angle A is equal to angle B because 90 degree as per theorem one. And OP is common so this is the right angle this is the hypotenuse and this is the side so by rhs congruency triangle o a p is congruent to triangle o b p right so if ye dono congruent ho gaye ab tumhe pata hai by congruent so by the corresponding parts of congruent triangle c p c AP is equal to ये दोनों काम ये equal है ये common है तो ये है तो अगर हम CP से जुड़े हैं तो ये दोनों भी corresponding parts of congruent triangle so AP is equal to BP so ये proof हो गया तो अभी हम समझ गए कि अगर कोई भी external point से हम draw करेंगे tangent या टेंजेंट्स एक सर्कल को द लेंथ्स ऑफ दिस टू टेंजेंट्स ड्रॉन फ्रॉम एनी पॉइंट विल बी इक्वल ठीक है ये सेम होगा ये सेम होगा यहां से कभी 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 ये सेम होगा ठीक है राइट लुक एट दिस Everywhere you draw a pair of tangents from any point P, Q, R, S, T, U, B, these are same. I mean, they are not respectively same, but they are same to each other. Got it? 
Yes, sir. So this was theorem two, right? This diagram we get to know. Here, sir, we know that this is theorem two. Okay. And here, the RHS congruency is, and we just have to tell us that it is NA. Got it? Now theorem two, 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 two. So, first of all, the first one is that if the radius is tangent, it is perpendicular. Second theorem is that if the external point is perpendicular, it is लेंथ है सेम अभी ये दो थ्योरम तुम्हारे बुक में है लेट्स गो ऑन टू थर्ड थ्योरम व्हिच इज आल्सो रिक्वायर्ड द थर्ड थ्योरम इज अ द लाइन जॉइनिंग The external point to the center line joining the external point to the center from where मतलब external point से ही two tangents are drawn. जो लाइन है कॉमन विराम बाइसेक्स द एंगल्स बिटवीन द टेंजेंट्स एंड दी रेडर अब ये जरा बुक में तो है नहीं क्वेश्चन में है तो मुझे भी पता होगा लेकिन इसको भी थ्योरम में सा मान लो क्योंकि इससे भी बहुत कुछ सीखने को मिलता है ओके वरना मैं बताता नहीं सो so, ये क्या बोल रहा है कि अगर एक सर्कल है और उसमें बाहर तो एक पॉइंट से दो टेंजेंट किया हुआ है सॉरी ये टेंजेंट नहीं कर रहा ठीक है सो so, अब ये सेंटर है ये जो लाइन जॉइनिंग सेंटर एंड एक्सटर्नल पॉइंट स्वामी राइट दिस लाइन बाई सिक्स एंगल बिटवीन द रेडियस एंड ऑल्सो बाई सिक्स एंगल बिटवीन दस दैट इज वॉट इट इज सेम अच्छा ये तो हमें लास्ट केस में मिल गया था क्योंकि वी ऑलरेडी नो ट्राइंगल ओ ए पी इज कॉमन टू ट्राइंगल ओ बी पी सो बाई सी पी सी टी We can say angle POA is equal to angle POB. In the triangle, we give a component. Hai. Corresponding angles we say the side we say. Vaise hi angle OPA must be equal to angle OPB. Ye bhi hoye, right? So by the last theorem's proof only, we know this is done. You know, so this line will bisect this angle and that angle, right? We need not do it again. You have understood why it does so. Yeah, then. Acha. These are three things we have to understand. These three things we use to use for class nine ke concepts. Me, chord, all of those we use to use. You will solve every question in the exam, every question in the book, everywhere you see. You will solve by using these three things from this this chapter only and the previous knowledge. So, पहले हम देखेंगे क्या सीखा? ये सीखा कि ये सीखा कि ये परपेंडिकुलर है। उसके बाद सीखा कि यहाँ से ड्रॉ करेंगे तो ये दोनों सेम। उसके बाद सीखा कि यहाँ से ड्रॉ करोगे तो ये जो एंगल है और ये जो एंगल है इस लाइन ये दोनों को बाइसेक करता है अच्छा कुछ और भी चीजें हैं इसको थियोरम फोर मान सकते हो थियोरम तो वैसे रूप में है नहीं लेकिन तुम मान के चलो कि अगर एक सर्कल में ऐसे एक बार से टेंजेंट किया है तो तुम देखो तो ये एंगल नाइनटी है ये एंगल नाइनटी है अच्छा ये दोनों 90 है ये ओ ए पी पी है तो ये ओ ए पी पी क्या है 
I will be happy. And most importantly, I will be more happy if you just use it and solve some questions and get rid of your doubts. So that's all for today. Thank you. Have a nice day.